So I used some scrap flooring and my oscillating tool to cut a nice straight line across to get that damaged drywall out. Well, this also opened up a great path for me to run new Romex, changing the light location for the vanity light from the ceiling to the wall. To do this effectively, of course, I needed to drill through some studs. So let's talk about what I consider to make sure I'm code compliant and staying away from any issues with inspection. With modern building construction and a half inch drywall, inch and a quarter are your most common drywall screws, but inch and five eighths you'll see used commonly as well. So what that means is if that half inch drywall was secured with the inch and a quarter, you'd have three quarters of an inch of the screw penetrating into the stud. So obviously this clearance is gonna be plenty, but even for that inch and five eighths, you're gonna have one and one eighth of an inch of the screw penetrating into the stud, and that is gonna protect it and be within the envelope called out by the NAC to make sure the screw is not puncturing or contacting your non-metallic Romex. So for the holes drilled through these two studs making up the corner here, that was actually one and eighth of an inch. You can see that hole is actually within the envelope that we should be keeping clear of an inch and a quarter to the edge surface. So local Menards have these easy guards. So that actually lines the hole here, the hole that you drilled out, opposed to putting that nailer plate on the outside surface. So all you do is place that within the one and one eighth inch of a hole, give it a little tap. And now you have a plastic bushing and also an integrated nailer plate so if any fasteners came from the outside, they would hit that metal housing opposed to your Romex. These make for a super clean and well-protected install. And you'll see a link in the description to these just in case you don't have a Menards in your area. These nail plates are 1 16th of an inch wide and those would go right on the outside surface of the stud. And then you just hammer those in place. And now you have protection for any screws or nails that would want to come through. They're gonna hit the plate, the nail plate, before puncturing through the stud and possibly damaging your Romex. 58 cents for these plates and about 81 cents if I bought a pack of 25 from Menards for these Easy Guards. Now, some of the instances you need two plates, one on each side, so the Easy Guard could actually be cheaper. 